All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Avakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akimus, pushing this truth and truth with sincerity. Now, I title this lesson Beware of these celebrity Hebrew Israelites because they come in the spirit of the world. The scriptures say you can't love the Most High and Mammon, all right? And this guy, Marty, Mar Stoudemire, he's resurfacing. Now he's uh, backtracking the statements he said about uh, uh, Kyrie Irving and Kanye West. You know, this basically, this guy's basically set up by Amalek, the so-called Jew, all right? And all these celebrities, man, they, they all have a, um, a mentor in the form of the so-called white man telling them what to do, all right? Now he got on here talking about this whole situation that basically he didn't um, he didn't say to uh, you know Kyrie and Kanye not to be ashamed of their heritage, but at the same time this guy's in league with Amalek, all right. And you can see here he, he used to play in uh, Israel, all right. Former NBA basketball player, I think first round draft pick. But there's no respect of persons when it comes to the Lord. So I'm gonna get this first scripture that the brother from. Um, now, that's another brother, but excuse me. This is Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore has thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. And that's a beautiful precept because these celebrities, they trim their way to be politically politically correct for this devil. All right. And they label us as um radical Hebrew Israelites. See, the, the, see Amalek has no problem when you say that, oh, you want to be a black Jew or you're Jewish and you want to be part of their community. But when you say that we're the real Hebrew Israelites out of your prospective tribe, all right, and the white man is the devil, they got a problem with that. They call us radical Hebrew Israelites, all right? It used to be BHI, all right, black Hebrew Israelite. They used to have a BHI alert. Now the Southern Poverty Law Center, <laughs> now the Southern Poverty Law Center say we're radical Hebrew Israelites because this is what we want in the end. And you got to keep in mind that these uh, celebrities, man, they're not giving you the whole scripts. They're not giving you the whole breakdowns. All right. The apostles and the elders are great millstone. All right. They're elders. And yes, younger brothers coming in their uh, labors. All right. See, that's what's wrong with you celebrities as well. You don't respect the labors that even even these other Hebrew Israelite camps are doing. All right. You got these other one West camps. They're not give they, these other celebrities. They want to say, oh, I'm doing this. Well, your, your, your main your main field was sticking to basketball. Just shut up and dribble the basketball, man. Like they told LeBron James a couple years ago on Fox News. Shut up and dribble. All right? When it comes to the prophecies, man, the Lord has designated his men, which we believe to be those men, to give you people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, this sound doctrine. Mark Stoudemire is not telling you about prophecy. And this is a future prophecy, Revelation 2 and 26. And this is the words of our Lord. I bet Amari Stoudemire does not know the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Neither does Brandon T. Jackson. And he went up there to the uh, Great Millstone, San, uh, Great Millstone, Los Angeles, uh, San Fernando Valley, Valley Camp and made himself a complete fool a couple months ago. This is Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations. That don't sound like coexisting and we shall overcome. All right. And you got to keep in mind, too, with these leaders that they gave you, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, they were bought and paid for by Amalek. All right. Amalek wrote that uh, I had a dream speech that Martin Luther King uh, gave r roughly about 60 years ago. And people still in, in a daze about Martin Luther King. All right. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Let's go to another another one of Revelation. If you if you got celebrity Hebrew Israelites and they're not talking about these precepts and ruling over their oppressors, don't follow them, guys. All right. They got one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. All right. When they get around you, it's Shalom. When they get around uh, Esau, it's Shalom. <laughs> Revelation 13 and 16. 
I mean, not 16. Hey, they're not telling you about Revelation 13 and 16. This is Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites, you so-called blast Hispanics and Native Americans. This isn't some thing of coexisting with Amalek. This man brought it, This man was one of the main catalysts for bringing Negroes, West Indians, and Haitians over here. All right, he had the money to finance the transatlantic slave trade, and you want to coexist with him? Uh, so we're telling you about that this man, this man that put us in slavery. All right, he's going to be our uh, slaves. We're going to be the slave master. Uh, the spirit just got me doing these scriptures about overcoming our oppressor because Mari Stoudemire is not telling you about that. Brandon T. Jackson, all these other countless of celebrities are not telling you about the downfall of Esau Edom. All right. Starting with Amalek, the so-called you know who. Isaiah 14 and 1, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, Israelite foreigners, and will yet choose Israel. He's not choosing the whole world. These guys got a problem with just saying it, salvation is only for Israel and set them in their own land. Our, our land is being occupied by heathens that think their land is th th that land is theirs. And they're blowing that place up. Hey, but the Lord got a perfect destruction in World War Three for that land. That land is to be cleansed. Why would you want to be in league with these people when Tel Aviv is one of the most filthiest cities of abomination in the world? All right. I read a report that. A lot of men and a lot of men in Tel Aviv and Israel period are bisexual. That the Lord's people, the Lord's people are not there. We're over here in the shores of North Central and South America, all right, and in bondage. All right, we are yet this day in our captivity, we're, wherever we're scattered. All right, those are not the people of the Bible. Mario Stoudemire is not telling you that. And Mario Stoudemire is in league with guys who, um, <clears throat> who, um circumcise babies' rods with their mouths and, and, and follow the Talmud. The Talmud is not of the Bible. So it says, and the strangers shall be joined with them, no strangers of the Israelite foreigners, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, the Israelites, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So we're going to have slaves. All right, the elder did a lesson on uh, Mari Stoudemire, what does it mean to be holy? We're separated, all right? And it's going to clearly be made manifest in the kingdom of heaven who has the power and who doesn't. It says, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their, impress over their oppressors. Mari Stoudemire, Mari Stoudemire and all these other Hebrew uh, Israelite celebrities Excuse me. They're not telling you that we're going to rule over our oppressors. All right. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein that was made to serve. Right. So you got to be aware of these guys with this. We, we, uh, we shall hold hands with Amalek and seeing we are the world. You got to be aware of these guys who are trying to coexist with the enemy. All right, let's get this one in uh, Maccabees. All right. Just real quick. First Maccabees, I think it's the first chapter. All right, first Maccabees 1 and 10. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seven seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. And when you read this chapter, this is how Jews became Hellenized for you guys who don't know the difference between Jew or Greek in the New Testament. You got to read the Apocrypha, which is part of the 1611 King James Version of the Bible. It says, in those days went out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. And that's what these Israelites doing, these celebrity Israelites who got one foot in the world 
and one foot they saying shalom brother you know they they're in league with the heathen all right these heathens have nothing to do with building the house of david all right house of da the king david did not align himself with heathens all right he made them slaves and made them pay tributes all right he made them bring things he, he built up his kingdom for those 40 years it wasn't he wasn't in league with amalek he didn't say to Amalek, hey, let's build together. No, this is the house of David, man. So, you know, you got to watch for these guys, man. I'm going to just end it off on one more scripture, man. You got any of these celebrities talking about joining league with the enemy, especially Amalek, man. That's a red flag, man. Amari Stoudemire, hey, let's, let's get this right here, man. I got two more. I got some time right quick. Let's go to Romans. Um, Romans 16 and 17. This is what... You're supposed to do, especially brothers as found out the Hebrew Israelites, you know, for younger brothers as waking up, man, don't, don't, don't pay attention to these celebrities, man. They already got their consolation. Like it mentions in Luke, Luke, the sixth chapter, they already got the fame of the world and the money. You know, this guy, Mari Stoudemire, he's probably doing all types of backdoor deals with Amalek. All right. He don't want to, he don't want to leave everything he has and, and, and serve the Lord, man. This is Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. Avoid Amari Stoudemire and Brandon T. Jackson and any other celebrity that says they're Hebrew Israelites, but they still got one foot in the world. All right, not giving credence to Yahweh, not giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashamel Shai, and not giving double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Watch them guys, man. And that word mark means scopeo. He's supposed to scope these guys out. That's why these elders, like Elder Renatazak, why do these lessons. For younger brothers to let you know what time it is, man. Don't be getting starstruck over these celebrities. The scriptures say there's no respect of persons. All right, so I got one more scripture. This is um, 1 John 2 and uh, 15. 1 John 2 and 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. This world is going to pass away. The end of Esau's world is going to pass away. And the word of Jacob is to come. <clears throat> you got to do what you got to do. You got to get your shaquarium, take care of your family. But the main thing is to preach this word and chant down Babylon the Great. Not fall in love with this place like these uh, celebrities that got one foot in the world. And one foot so called the truth, man. And if they were really about the truth, they would go to the highways and byways and proclaim this word. It would, if you're going to stand on something, you need to go to the highways and byways and teach it, man. But these guys just want to stand by and make uh, videos for social media and, and, and little clips. They got their little followers. I'm sure Amari Stoudemire got a lot of Amalekites following his ass over there in Tel Aviv or where he, wherever he's at. I think he, the last time I think he was some type of um, consultant for the New York Knicks. I wonder why, I wonder how he got that job. <laughs> so it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. All right, going to the highways and byways, feeding the lost, looking for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, feeding the sheep, all right, and, and enduring sound doctrine. You got to watch out for these celebrities, man. You, you, you what, what, when have you seen a celebrity go out to the highways and byways? Like I said, don't be getting, don't be getting starstruck. You know, last year was the whole Kanye West, Kyrie situation. Kyrie, Kanye West is still bugged out, and Kyrie, Kyrie's, Kyrie Irving's simple ass got traded to Dallas, man. So with that, hey, beware of these um, celebrity Israelites, man. Shalom.